When you shop for fabric in West Africa, it's the beginning of a creative journey. The tradition is you find a tailor or seamstress to make an outfit. In a store like this, you can be sure the goods are genuine. But local fabric producers in Ghana say the industry is suffering from a flood of imported imitation products, often of inferior quality. A cotton bow textiles has been so badly affected, they're now producing just a quarter of the amount compared to five years ago. We don't mind cheap textiles coming into Ghana uh, and into the markets in West Africa, but we object very strongly when people are copying our brands, putting tickets on that are saying made in Ghana when we know very well that they are not. Uh, and also, of course, they are copying our designs, which is an investment that we've made. Many people like to shop in the market because they think they can get a bargain, but you have to know what to look for. When you look at these two labels, it's impossible to tell the difference. Now, this is the label on the fake brand, and this is the one on the original. Now, the only way to be sure is to check whether the number on the fabric itself matches what's on the label, and in this case, it doesn't. The government wants shoppers to support the local fabric industry as a way of also promoting culture. It's introduced Friday wear, when Ghanaians are encouraged to come to work in traditional fabrics. One of Ghana's most famous musicians is an outspoken supporter. I, I think that we should wear, rather, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we should wear African wear, and on the Friday, wear the Western wear. You know, because when you go to the West, nobody wears the African wear even once a year. Traditionally, the type of cloth is supposed to show how a person is feeling. They all have individual names, and for many people, especially for funeral wear, there's a spiritual attachment. But all of this is slowly disappearing and culture lovers say it's up to individuals to hold on to it and support local industry. Amabwating, Al Jazeera, Accra.